This is the blower ODS animated at one times turning speed. This is after the foundation has been reinforced, tightened up, bolted, a lot of things to strengthen the foundation. You can see the beam is still moving a little bit. The motor, which is sitting on a relatively lighter base, is moving uh, in the range of 0.4 to 0.5 inches per second. Actually, there's points up to 0.6 inch per second. So there's a lot of motion on the motor, and it seems to be flexing in the base, and the motor is kind of translating back and forth in the axial direction, as well as, I'll spin this around, you can take a little look at it. pretty good vertical motion again from that flexing of the base that you can see from underneath here there's one more thing to notice notice the blower bearing is going up and down with the motor but it's really not moving back and forth in the axial direction on the drive end but if we go to the outboard end of the blower you can actually see that bearing is being pushed out in phase with the axial motion of the motor. So that bent shaft is kind of uh, wagging the tail of the dog here on the motor because it's on a weaker structure. The shaft is bent right here. I verified it at 4,000 total indicator runout on the shaft. And that is creating an axial motion on the motor and the blower outboard bearing end. Kind of an interesting case. Take a quick look at the spectrums here. The blower inboard horizontal, just a 1x, not that high, 35.86 and 0.2 inches per second. Blower inboard vertical, this is where we see the 0 0.5, 0 0.6 amplitudes that you're seeing in the ODS, vertical up and down, much higher because of the flexing of the base um, in the vertical direction and again notice no not much 2x very small mostly 1x if we look at the axial inboard on the motor we see again an elevated 1x axial and we saw it in the ODS how it's in phase with the outboard end of the blower axial Again, no 2x. I think that's the important thing to realize. We go across the coupling to the blower inboard horizontal. And elevated 1x, no 2x. Again, this is where the bent shaft is, uh, 4 thousandths of an inch uh, vertical, not much motion. The blower is on a pretty stiff foundation, so that bent shaft is really pushing and pulling on the motor. Um, actually, that's pretty high. I guess the vertical is fairly high in the blower at 3562. This needs to be dropped down a bit, the alarm. That's vertical. And now we'll take a look at the axial. Point three, point four, and if we move out to that outboard bearing on the blower, horizontal point five inches per second. I actually think they have the transducers mixed up here. Um, this is an online system. I believe that's the axial. Yeah, that's the highest direction. When I go to the axial direction, it shows lower. I think they've switched these two accelerometers when they changed out the equipment. Yeah, the horizontal. So those are, this is actually the horizontal. And the high direction was the axial.